Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is Nine of Swords, but it did reverse on its way out. Okay. Nine of Swords reverse can be something that was on your mind before, something that you were concerned with before, that not being so much a thing anymore. So you could have been worried or you could have been stressed about something or there could have been even something that was, it could have felt like it was eating you alive. That can be the notion of the Nine of Swords but having it reversed feels like it's starting to sort of dissolve away. Maybe it's even easier to address this now because you could have gotten to the bottom of it too, what was going on. You know, this can be thinking about things and being like, what am I so scared of? And really getting to the bottom of it, or like, what am I so worried about? And then getting further and further and further into it. Because I'm seeing Queen of Cups here. This would show you being in a place where you're sort of like psychologically and emotionally present to what's going on so you can figure out where this is coming from. To understand it, to understand yourself, to understand what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what's going on, that type of thing. And it feels like this isn't such a big thing anymore. It feels like there's more of a, I'm able to get closer to it to understand it. And it feels too like the closer you get to it, the more you understand it. And then sort of the power of that fear of that anxiety lessens. Like the closer that you get to it, the more you understand it. It looks like that type of process that's happening. Now, what's on the other side of this? I'm seeing Ten of Cups and I'm seeing the Moon. So this can be you really trying to dig deeply here and figure out what your heart is communicating with you. It can also be about what you'll be happy with too or thinking about that. Could have been trying to figure it out. What will, what will I be happiest with or what will be best for me or what do I feel like is most right? Those types of things. And having the moon, it can feel like you're still in the process of figuring that out. Can even be still searching for that. This would feel like an emotional slash spiritual quest that you're on in, in this area of your life. I do get this sense too that you can know that you have connected with things that have brought joy into your life and you can feel like there's still more to explore to figure out like what other things are involved within that. The moon feels like going into undiscovered territory. Okay, so this has to do with future stuff is what I'm seeing. That could have been what the worry was about before, you know, like things changing, where are things going, what's happening with that. And also too, like the, mm, the deteriorate, deterioration of a current cycle only to step into what's going to be birthed from that birthed from the death of the cycle that you've currently been in. Like what is going to appear next? What am I stepping into next? What am I moving towards? So yeah, there. it looks like fear, worries, anxiety connected with the future. I'm not seeing it feel so big anymore. It feels like, again, it's getting smaller and smaller. It's easier to digest, to understand. And I do feel like you're getting closer. I feel like it, you're moving forward and it feels like you're getting closer to where you are going. So it's like closer to taking that next step, like that type of thing. And so it doesn't feel like as big of a deal anymore. What I'm also seeing too, is that before, whether it was you weren't taking action because you were just too worried about something or it just felt too big to address maybe, or it could have been, I don't understand how that's going to work and so I'm just not really gonna approach it right now or this is bringing up a lot for me. I'm feeling triggered or I'm feeling anxiety about this so I don't even wanna touch it. It feels like before you may not have been ready to be here looking at this yet. Now it feels more so like, okay, I'm, I'm more willing to and more ready maybe 
to look at this and to see what's going on to take a closer look at it and it does feel too like there's something going on where it looks like you're going to be exploring something It looks kind of like, for some of you, it's not this, you're not at that point yet where this is happening, but you can know that that's what's going to be happening. For others of you, this will be the next step of things and it can be some unknown territory that you're stepping into. And it can, there can also be a little bit of risk involved in this too, but also feels like a lot of discovery that would be connected with this as well. And again, for some of you, this isn't right now. This is what's going to be happening. But you would have some type of awareness of this because it would have been something you were worried about earlier. You're gonna have peace of mind. Maybe after a time when things weren't feeling like that, I'm seeing that this is going to be a very peaceful cycle that you're stepping into. Something that's gonna feel just right in general. Okay, so before, you could have felt like my mind is getting in the way of what my heart is communicating with me and it's just all I can hear are, are the thoughts and the worries and like that type of stuff. Like what's going to happen? What's going to happen? How are things going to work out? It's like all future related stuff. Now feels like this is getting easier to sort of cope with and you can start hearing yourself more clearly means you can hear your intuition more clearly you can hear your heart more clearly i'm not so concerned over like what's going to be happening where things are going so it feels like you're a bit more at ease because it's nine of swords reverse though it doesn't mean that you're totally out of the woods you can still have some stuff that you're thinking about or have some stuff that you're feeling but it's not as intense as it was before i'm seeing that and it, it feels too like your heart is more ready than it was before. Now where I'm seeing you go is I'm seeing you move in the direction of your Ten of Cups. So this is you moving in the direction of something that makes you happy. This is moving in the direction of something that feels fulfilling. This is moving in the direction of something that you feel like I can be good here long term. It will be like that type of thing where this is a real thing for me. This is a deep thing for me. It will be like that. I'm also seeing the Four of Swords here too, which means that you will also have peace of mind in doing this. But before you could have been like, what if I go that way and everything's really chaotic or things aren't working out or it's a mistake? It feels like a lot of that commentary was happening before. Now it feels like you're in a spot where you're more ready to do this, to move this way, to take that chance, you know, to go out on a limb in order to to really listen and to tune in and to follow the call of that. Having Ten of Cups and having Four of Swords, it feels like not only are you going to feel very, very good about it from a spiritual standpoint, from an energetic standpoint, like this is definitely the right thing for me, I connect with this, but I'm also seeing too that your mind will be at ease. So it's not gonna be like, okay, this feels good, but still all of this static is going on or all of this chaos is going on. I'm seeing that you also will have a quiet mind too, where it feels like you're centered. I'm seeing you be very tuned in. I'm not seeing a bunch of chaos around you. I'm seeing there be more a sense of protection even that you would be feeling and maybe what you weren't feeling before you could have felt like where is my guidance like am i being looked after are things gonna be okay like give me a sign it could have been like that type of thing that was happening before when you enter into this like third mark this third area over here 
where I'm seeing you be very happily involved in something. I'm seeing too that you feel like your head is there too. Like you're very present to that. Maybe too, this is gonna be a moment where you see the relationship between the two of those of when I'm following my heart it also, and I'm feeling good about things, my mental health is doing better, that I'm feeling more connected, and then it makes it easier to deal with things, it makes it easier to cope with things. It's like your heart leading you and then your mind sort of gets on the same page, whereas before you could have just been like totally consumed with what was going on within your head, and especially from a fear-based, something fear-based that was going on with Nine of Swords, or like concern, worry, anxiety, those types of things, feeling unsafe, feeling um, insecure, feeling worried. Putting yourself out there to make this move and feeling like it really pays off. And especially by the way that you feel. This is gonna be one of those things that you do and you can feel the peace within you because of making this choice, because of moving in this direction and or allowing this, whatever it is, you'll really feel that peace within you. And I think that will speak volumes to your experience because it will, it will feel very different than what was happening before where there was this anticipation and also having a hard time sort of mentally getting yourself on the page of this. When you are in the thick of it, I'm seeing you feel really good about being there. So you will feel like it's gratifying in that way. And it does feel too like this is an exploration, even though like you can ex be exploring the world, it feels like this is also an explore exploration of yourself here. And because we have the moon and this energy is Pisces, Pisces is connected with sort of spiritually and energetically what's going on with us, what we're tuning into, what we're sensing, but mental health is also a big part of this too. And like your wellness and whatnot. And knowing that like when your spirit is happy, like everything else will be able to fall in line. And you may be deciding to trust that and see how other things do fall into place rather than just being like, these are the thoughts that I'm having and I'm only going to make decisions based off of that. And if something is freaking me out, I'm not gonna even touch that. I'm not gonna go in that direction, even though your heart is like pulling you that way. So it feels like there's a lot of ground that's being covered in understanding yourself. Stuff that you may have been unaware of before, didn't know how it worked. It feels like becoming more familiar with yourself here. Fear coming from the separation. It feels like a disconnect spiritually. I'm using the word spiritually loosely here just to sort of sum up. So that's what I'm seeing was happening. This could have, um, you can realize that you weren't maybe moving forward because of being scared, you know, because of having your heart closed off, because of being disconnected from what was going on with, within your heart space or not able to hear what your soul was communicating with you, like that type of thing. Or it was communicating with you, but only being able to hear like all the negative thoughts and then feeling like it's so chaotic that you can't make sense of the messages and what's being communicated with you. And this feels like something very big is being grounded here. I, I get this sense too that something that you're exploring is where you may be closed off, where you may be less open-minded than you thought you were, you know, where you may be having like a negative narrative that maybe you were before like, this is just me being realistic or practical. And it was actually really missing an important element of hope or of optimism that maybe the mechanism behind how this whole thing comes together and works, you know, like that type of thing. So you see how the sense of separation was the thing that was not allowing you to really move out of that spot. But now I'm not seeing it so much be a thing anymore. 
this feels like through gaining more of a sense of awareness of this where i'm still hung up on those things where i'm still not together with myself on that that's where this spawns from and maybe you weren't seeing that before too you could have just been feeling something or experiencing the thoughts about something and not really knowing the basis like where the catalyst of that was coming from but it looks more and more like you're understanding that where it comes from and it does come from a, a this sort of split or separateness and also to your relationship with change that being part of this as well so psychically and psychologically and also you sort of mending things within yourself i'm seeing a lot of progress that you've been making what i'm also seeing too is that i'm seeing you move forward it feels like there's still a lot of unknowns feels like you're moving you're moving and you are making progress and there is like a distance that you've covered simultaneously it feels like there's still a lot of stuff that is unknown that we don't know about that's still being figured out i know that i'm going here but i don't know what exactly that entails it can be like that sort of thing so you can still feel like there's a sense of mystery intrigue unknown stuff that's kind of undiscovered yet that you are slowly unraveling so that's what i'm seeing going on i do definitely see there being a more in-depth understanding of the relationship between your heart and your mind and how before you could have been feeling like you were being called in many different ways that that can happen you know it can feel like i'm not happy here or i wish for this or I want that type of connection or like I'm looking to be satisfied with this situation within my life those types of things that will be these little indications of needing to tweak something or change something or whatever and before having been a bit shut down like the relay between your heart and your mind um, there being like less communication and more of like maybe even an over identifying with what was logical or what you were thinking and then dismissing what was going on within your soul or within your heart and that having had you be not open before whereas now I'm seeing there be an open energy that you're connected with and it's going to allow you to step into something that will feel very satisfying for you. You feel very, very happy with this. And you'll also see too that it's one of those times where you can feel like, oh, my anxiety or my fear, it's giving me a warning not to go in that direction, but my heart is pulling me that way. And then you end up following your heart and then it also ends up being good for you too. Like you feel mentally at ease and you'll just see the way that certain signals come. Like the way that I'm seeing this nine of swords reversed connected with the five of swords, you could have thought like, oh, this is me being smart, smart and rational here, but not realizing that this was coming from something like a broken way of thinking or like a, a, a belief system that's no longer aligned for you anymore. And so rather than it being a warning and being like, oh, that interpreting that like, oh, I shouldn't go that way, then you see that when you do go that way, because that's where your soul and your heart are calling you, that then magically, like your mind is at ease too. And you're like, well, why was I getting warnings about that before? And you'll see that it was coming from something that was distorted. It wasn't coming from this like these higher ideas and this higher insight. It was coming from fear. So, and there's nothing like good or bad or anything like that. It's not characterized like that. It's more so just understanding the process and understanding the way that things work. And now I'm seeing you very much move forward with things. So it feels like it's not really, it's not really a thing anymore so much. It feels like something that's much more manageable now at this point. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.